Welcome to the Ladies Enrichment Club Worldwide, where we support women in business and in personal growth. Today, we have a special guest with us, Anchal, and she will give us a short introduction. Hello, Anchal. Hello. How are you, Zelda? Very good. Thank you. Very good. You can start by giving us an introduction of where you're from and maybe a hobby, what you like to do. Sure, definitely. Firstly, I like to say thank you so much for the opportunity. It's an honor to be um, on this platform and supporting women across uh, the region. Uh, so let me give you a few. Um, I'll give you an introduction about myself. My name is Anchal. Um, I'm the founder and creative director of Vandevin Arts. I'm from born and brought up in India, and I've been living in Dubai for almost 21 years now. Uh, in my free time, when I'm not thinking or I'm not overanalyzing my business, uh, I like to yeah. unwind with my friends and have a good time. I'm a big foodie, and so I love entering new restaurants and, you know, uh, just indulge in good food, good company, and relax and unwind. So that's, I think, my hobby. Uh, Apart from doing these uh, unwind exercises, I love reading. I love reading a lot and it's not books, it's just a learning a lot of, so I do a lot of informative reading online, offline, interact with the uh, active group. So that's how I love to do in my spare time. Okay, great. Oh, well, it's nice to meet you in this way uh, for this short introduction and uh, Dubai has so many uh, possibilities to go out and explore good food. So I get you. I think yeah. that we, are, we are spoiled with choices. We are. <laughs> Definitely, we are. So Anchal, you are the founder of the Art Gallery. Um, uh, yes. yes, yes. So we are predominantly not operating, uh, I mean, in a very simple term, yes, Art Gallery. But in a more defined, we are a more consultant uh, boutique. We're an art consultant boutique where uh, we are catering to a wider audience. We are trying to uh, you know, pass the message and spread the knowledge that art is affordable and it is for everyone. It is not any more a rich uh, you know, a clientele for a particular uh, rich people. Art is... Uh, is accessible to all. So it's pretty much a consultancy where we guide through our private clients, our corporate clients, our hospitality clients. Uh, so we service their needs and requirements on different levels and different requirements. So basically it is a, more of a, a consultancy model and not as a physical gallery model. Mm -hmm. So that's how we operate in that space. Okay. So why did you choose to go into this type of business? I think you've been doing this for a couple of years. Tell us a little bit more. Yes, so it was very interesting. I come from a very, uh, like a business family background and I've done my interiors. Uh, as a child, I've always been very um, attracted towards beautiful, attractive uh, things. And I've always had a flair for interiors. And I myself have done interiors and I did have a company back in India when I was studying. Uh, my first job in Dubai somehow landed up not in interiors and as an art consultant. And that how, you know, opened my, uh, like it, it just opened a whole new world for me for art. And it just, I just kept getting drawn into it. And my career started more as a commercial art consultant and it moved to a purely private consultancy for end users, for private collectors. So I think uh, this journey of where I was and how the opportunities opened up for me coming from India to Dubai, and it just took me, it just started carving my journey by myself. And I think it, uh -huh. I actually thought about doing it is when I was doing up my own house and there was just nothing around me and it was everything so... Uh, there was just nothing. There was no proper galleries, no uh, platform for artists to express, to sell, uh, to enjoy good work, have some colorful walls. 
So I think that uh, really struck me while I was doing my house. And I said, no, I'm going to do it. And mm -hmm. if I'm going to do it for myself, I'm going to spread the word and help everyone around me. So I think it just set the trend and set the platform for me. And from that time, we haven't looked back at all. It's just been moving forward. And as you can say, like art is continuously evolving and we are just going on and on, uh, embracing it in all different forms. So I think it's uh, been a good journey so far and I'm happy to share it with everyone that I touch or come across. Mm -hmm. So I, I would like to know, you, you've been doing this, um, you've been running your business now for a couple of years. Uh, we talked about short-term goals and, and we kind of uh, mentioned that um, it's better to mention your long-term goals. So yeah. tell us a little bit more about that. So. Uh, our long-term goals would be more to, uh, you know, connect and um, to actually uh, operate globally. I think we have pretty much uh, set our feet and our roots uh, in Dubai at the moment for now. And we are pretty much, uh, you know, uh, happy with the setup and the infrastructure. I think the long-term goal is to sustain the platform and take it uh, globally reach out to more and more artists, give them the opportunity to, uh, you know, actually express themselves and sell through our platform. So the idea is to uh, take the business globally and uh, operate in as many places and, uh, you know, connect with as many people. So the, the long-term goal is to do that. And uh, of course, the long-term goal is also to uh, transform and transmit into different forms of art we have been uh, named too much for wall art, but that's not true. Um, we are fighting uh, certain uh, challenges and we're trying to come out of that uh, understanding and reach out to art in different forms. It could be, uh, you know, like sculpture, it, it could be uh, installations, it could be uh, audio art, it could be visual art, it could be, now the new trend is the NFT. So we are also launching our range of NFT. Getting okay, into virtual let me gallery. ask you a little bit about that because NFT is big. As an artist oh, yes. myself, I know. Okay. I would love to yes, do that. Sure. So yes, let's, sure. let's go a little bit into NFTs. What's up now? What is the latest? So the latest and NFT, as we all know, with our basic knowledge, it's like a parallel uh, NFT is going to be a more, uh, not a physical piece of art, but of course, you're going to be owning everything virtually. So as you can buy your own house and land and do everything, you can have your own collection of NFTs, uh, which is a virtual uh, art and you can have a collection. So we are working very hard with our artists. Uh, and we're trying to get a collection together, which is uh, accessible to all our collectors and our audience. So we are working on it. It's still work in progress. We haven't, um, it's pretty much, we should be launching by March. So that's something new and exciting project that we have on our plate. And uh, we are excited to oh. launch that soon. Yes. Oh, yes. I would like to come and see. I visited a gallery. Definitely. Definitely, um, we will. Yeah. Uh, we'll invite you in the metaverse once the gallery is set up. <laughs> and, uh, but uh, before that, I think our virtual gallery should be up and running by end of the month. So that's something we will keep everyone uh, informed with our uh, current Lovely. development. Yeah. Lovely. I'm going to share screen your website, and I would like to show people. There you go. Okay. So let's have a look here. Um, there is. Uh, can you can can you take us through your website, or would you like me to do that? I'm happy if hmm. if you want to take through, that's fine. Okay, let's uh, start with home. So we are on home at the moment. So let's go. Uh, you have some projects here um artist and artwork sold 
Is this uh, some way where we can see the projects? Uh, I think this is a rundown of the numbers. You can go to, uh, yes, gallery. You can see projects there, some of our projects being displayed there. Great. So you just talked about um, you are not just a gallery for paintings, for wall art, but yes. also for sculptures. And yes. this is really beautiful. Um, I really yes. like the sculpture. Is it done by a local artist? Is uh, this so this sculpture? is actually, uh, no, it's not a local artist. This is actually a farmhouse, a holiday home we did in India. <clears throat> and uh, we actually uh, worked closely with an artist, a sculptress based in India, and we sculptured this <laughs> concept for the client. So we did this project in India for a private holiday home. I love it. I was looking yes. through your gallery um, yes. during the week, and this is <laughs> beautiful. Is this? Uh... Yes. It's, it's a mirror art. Uh, mm -hmm. So we also develop. Um, different forms of art like we can work with wood we can work with raisin we can work with mirror uh, so we like challenges and the more the designer and the client gives us a brief we get more and more charged to try and experiment with new materials so this is something we got a brief where the client wanted a very uh, dramatic piece at the entrance at the same time she didn't want a regular mirror so we uh -huh. created something, you know, uh, can give a reflection with a different perspective. So this was all being, uh, you know, designed collectively. Actually, our contribution were the sculptures, but we also designed the mirror for the client in this project. Okay. I remember one time in my photography studio, I had uh, beautiful sculptures from an uh, artist here. In, based in Dubai, he's from Italy. And uh, I actually took photos of the mirror sculptures, but it was my most challenging photography I've ever done in my life uh, because everything is reflecting. But it was so beautiful, um, so unusual. And I'm talking about maybe two to three years back that I've done uh, this and it's really, you can appreciate what they also put in to these type of works. Um, and then everybody can just go through your gallery and see you. And I love this. I looked at yeah. it and I was like in love with it. So this is again, the same project in India we did for a huge farmhouse. Uh, so they are, uh, they spend a lot of family time in this farmhouse and they're a big family and they love entertaining outdoors. So this house is a true reflection of how the indoor can uh, enhance. And, you know, so the indoor and the outdoor was a good mix of enjoying the space, you know, how you enjoy nature within your house. You mm -hmm. wake up to something so beautiful. You have conversation pieces in every corner of the house where you're going. It's telling a story. It's like, four yeah. friends sitting on a bench of the sorry they're sitting on the roof of the house and enjoying the sky so we had some sort of storyline and um, there were some clips of the of the houses that were architecturally very beautiful and the architect and the client wanted to have a uh, connection with nature so every time that he was inside the house he could connect with outdoors so it, it, it was a beautiful project that we created together. So I think it's one of the projects that we really worked uh, and we put a lot of effort and it was very thoughtful. And we experimented again with all different mediums in this project. Mm. I love it. So many beautiful projects that you've done yes. already. Uh, if yes. people go to the gallery, they can see an e-catalog. Um, is that a PDF that they can download? Yes, okay. yes, yes. Um, you could go to our Instagram page uh, as well. We encourage all our uh, followers to go on Instagram page uh, because it's a trend where it just, mm. have, you know, we can post a lot. We can uh, you let's connect go to and contact us. Here. Contact, if you yes. click under contact yes, us, yes. you can go yes. here 
and yes. see their Instagram page. Facebook, are you on Facebook as well? Yes, we are. Yes, we are pretty much on all the social platforms. We are on Instagram. We are on Facebook. We are on LinkedIn. And uh, we can connect with our uh, audience. And if, if anyone and everyone can reach out to us through any platform that's most convenient to them. Yeah. Uh, and here you also mentioned that um, yes. what you are doing. Yeah. Yeah. Right. These are some so, of the different forms of art that uh, we specialize. We have a pool of, um, we work with in-house uh, artists that we have uh, with us working over a couple of years. And they have different expertise and different skill sets. So uh, as my point is, we don't want to restrict to a form of art. We want to take art to all different materials and forms. So we mm -hmm. provide all these basic uh, art services that, you know, a person would like to inquire and, you know, do it. Instantly That's lovely. That, that was course. really nice going yeah. briefly through your website. And um, thank you. But anybody thank that you so would much. like to uh, see your Instagram account, just give us the Instagram account. Yes. So uh, it's at Vandervin Arts. Uh, you can all follow us at Vandervin Arts for all the uh, activities and what's going on, our okay. project updates, new releases, all development projects. So please reach out and follow us at Vandervin Arts. That's great. So tell us a little bit more about um, your advice to women out there that would like to start their own business yes maybe something more sure. related to your business um going into uh, art um yeah uh so i would have a very universal uh message to all the women out there uh, whether in my nature of business or uh in any form of creative form of business that they want to indulge in uh first thing i would say that always have clarity never give up always have clarity in what you want to do, believe in yourself. As long as you believe in your product and yourself, you can achieve anything. And mm -hmm. must keep clarity as you go, focus, clarity and hard work and believe in yourself. That's the biggest tip for any woman, any entrepreneur, any child, anybody who wants to get into, uh, you know, developing themselves and getting into a creative world or even a non-creative world you should have clarity and you should work hard and you yeah. can conquer the world i think that's so true have clarity yeah. but remember that um, there is hard work in success as well definitely there yeah. are uh, there are no shortcuts and uh, keep dreaming mm -hmm. and keep uh, getting clarity through the process the world is, uh, I mean, we are very fortunate that, you know, we have so many um, avenues to connect and people to support us. So I feel the world is yours to conquer no matter who you are and where you are. You just have to believe in yourself and just go for it. Great. Thank you, Ancha, for all your um, advice that you've given women out there and that you share your business and your business journey with us. Um, I know that you said something about a giveaway. Can you tell us a little bit more? Yeah, sure. Uh, we're happy to offer um, a free consultancy with me for anyone who's looking to know more about art. So I'm happy to offer them my free consultancy, free proposals for them. And we'll also happy to offer um, paintings, a giveaway for our uh, listeners and followers. I'm happy to right. offer them a painting. Tell me, okay. Anjal, will this only be for the UAE? Uh, yes, logistically, because uh, sometimes it's just more easier to get it uh, around. But if uh, we have a lucky winner and they are not based in Dubai, but I'm happy to give it to their friends or family locally 
and uh, give it to them and uh, that's fine. Uh, we Let's see, I mean, if we have somebody, we can look into shipping, but I prefer UAE at the moment, yes. So we do UAE giveaway for the painting. Yeah. But for, yes. um, I mean, for your consulting, we can do online. online totally. Giveaway. Happy to consult, meet and uh, give our advice globally. <laughs> That's yes. great. Thank you so yes. much, Anchal, for your time. Thank you. Sharing. Thank you so much. Thank you. It was lovely talking to you and uh, thank you for everything. It's a pleasure. Take care. Bye-bye. Yeah.